The Martin County Library System seeks to implement radio frequency identification technology in five libraries over the next five years. This technology is currently in place at the Peter and Julie Cummings Library in Palm City. RFID simplifies the inventory control process, checking materials in and out, and gets them back on the shelves in half the time of our current barcode-based system. To better show you how RFID is being used in library systems, we would like to take a moment to explore the past, present, and future of this technology. RFID began to take shape in the early part of the 20th century. It rose to prominence during World War II when the British Royal Air Force used radio broadcasting technology to label their aircrafts. This allowed the British to place radio tags on their own planes and use RFID to find out whether an approaching plane was a friend or a foe. In the late 1990s, Rockefeller University in New York became one of the first libraries to implement RFID technology. The library had been allowing students to take out books after hours, but many of them were forgetting to check out the materials. The Cummings Library installed a 7-bin RFID sorter that better allows us to check in the nearly 700 items we receive on a daily basis. Some of the benefits of this sorter include all items being sorted the same way, patrons getting their materials faster, and staff having more time for patrons. In a side-by-side -side comparison with the methods at the Blake Library, it is easy to see the benefits that RFID sorting has brought to the Cummings Library. On the left at Cummings, our machine can check in and sort 50 items in the time that it takes for staff on the right at the Blake Library to check in 15 items. Imagine if all day long you had to do this and then this and then this, that repetitive motion multiplied by 200 items a day is an awful lot. But it's really a pleasure to just be able to do that it's accurate, it always can read it. The item is checked out, desensitized, and ready to go, and it's just one simple motion. And as easy as this is for the staff to check out materials with a single motion, in the same way, it's very simple and very accurate for a patron to use our RFID system to check out materials. Checking out with RFID is just as simple. No need to scan, just place it on the pad. Title comes up. I don't even have to make sure that it's in the right place. The RFID tag will read the item. Our patrons really like the convenience and the accuracy of using the RFID checkout. They're able to get their items and check out without any assistance. The newest RFID machine at Cummings allows patrons to check out multiple items at once. This machine shortens the checkout lines at Cummings and saves valuable time for our patrons. It's so easy that kids are checking out books, CDs, and DVDs without assistance from their parents or from staff. At Cummings, our RFID system also allows us real-time monitoring of items as they come in and go out of the library through our security gates. This way, we can see every item listed as it passes through the gates. When the alarm sounds, we can find out which specific item has not been checked out. On average, the Martin County Library System circulates 1.2 million items annually. 84% of these materials are checked out by patrons themselves on self-checkout machines. At the Cummings Library, almost 100% of materials are checked in through the RFID sorter. By implementing RFID in all Martin County libraries, we could save time on patrons receiving and returning their books, CDs, and DVDs and library staff would also have more time for customer service and to answer questions from the public.